Hello everyone, so I hope you know that the Reserve Bank of India has released the yearly data for the India's external debt and balance of payment. Okay, so let's discuss some of the most important data points that you need to keep in mind from the examination point of view. So first of all, the external debt to GDP ratio has increased to 19.1% at the end of March 2025. So this is the important data point. The share of short term debt that is the short term debt is the debt with original maturity of up to one year. So the share of short term debt in the total external debt has declined to 18.3% at the end of March 2025. Now loans remain the largest component of external debt followed by the currency and deposits by the non-resident Indians by the foreigners, then the trade credit and advances and the debt securities. Okay, The US dollar denominated debt remained the largest component of India's external debt followed by the debt denominated in Indian rupee, yen, SDR and euro. So US dollar denominated debt remained the largest component of India's external debt followed by the debt denominated in Indian rupee followed by the yen, uh, SDR and euro denominated debt. Okay. So this is the idea. Now coming to the important data points from the balance of payment point of view. So India's current account deficit was 0.6% of GDP in the 2024-25 financial year. Okay, This was lower than the 0.7% of the uh, GDP that was the current account deficit in the 2023-24. Okay, So the India's current account deficit has decreased from 0.7% of GDP to 0.6% of GDP in 2024-25 primarily due to higher net invisible receipt because of the higher receipts from the, from the service export and higher receipts from the remittances. Okay. Now there was depletion of US dollar 5 billion in foreign exchange reserves. So basically the current account deficit was higher than the capital account surplus okay because of this there is a balance of payment deficit and to cover this balance of payment deficit there was depletion of us dollar 5 billion in the foreign exchange reserves on a balance of payment basis during 2024-25 okay now if you want to know more uh, about these data points if you want to go into details i have taken a complete session in the finance 360 degree series uh, in regards to the data points for the India's external debt and balance of payment data and the foreign exchange reserves data. So do see the complete session so that you have the idea that what these data points are all about as well as do tell me in the comment section below that the current account surplus in quarter 4 2024 25 was how much percentage of the gdp okay so there is current account surplus in the quarter 4 of 2024 25 this is what percentage of gdp now this data point is quite in use so it becomes important okay so this is it thank you everyone